to my booktube channel. Today I'm starting another reading vlog. I am currently, well I'm not in the middle of finals week, I'm actually at the very end of finals week, which is so exciting. I have one more final to take in a couple of hours and then I'm done. I'm done. It's summer, I can do whatever I want. So yeah, I'm actually also moving out of my apartment today, which is also very exciting because I've had it with my apartment and I'm so excited to move home for the summer and then start again fresh with a new apartment next semester. Let me open this window a bit maybe. But right now I'm going to do my makeup and talk about the books that I'm reading because I haven't done that. So if you watched my last vlog, you will know that I am currently reading The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout and I, look, I, it's feeling like a three stars. Like that's probably just what it's gonna be. That's what the second book was. Not a lot has happened is my problem. Poppy, who is like the main character, has to make like a big decision. But nothing happens with that decision until 80% through the book. Looking back on it, I'm like, what has happened? She's been kidnapped a few times. They've had sex a lot. That's about it. I'm not exactly there for the plot, so I'm not like pressed about it. I think it's very entertaining, but plot wise, very much lacking. The first book is still the best book in the series. That's kind of just what has been going on in the book. So a big fat nothing. Well, I guess I'm still three chapters into Death Note, the Black Edition, volume three. I've been putting most of my effort into the Crown of Gilded Bones. I've been studying a lot, kind of. So I've been, you know, trying to just focus on one book. But the two books that I'm like certain, I guess I said this last, last vlog, but I really want to finish Death Note. That shouldn't be too hard because it's a manga. And then I also picked up Heartstopper Volume 3 a couple of days ago. I think they're going on like a vacation in this one. Like I think they go to Paris. And that's just, you know, literally a one sitting type deal. I'm sure your Death Note could also be a one sitting type deal, but I've already, like, I know exactly what's gonna happen and I've already seen it and I still want to read it, but like, I know how this ends. It's not like suspenseful or anything like how it would be if you watched it the first time, you know what I mean? What else was I saying? Oh yes, I want to pick up a Stephen King book. I have a lot at my house. I love Stephen King books and I want to read some more. I'm thinking Cujo. I've already seen the movie, but maybe I should stop reading things that I already know the outcomes of. <laughs> Upsetting. Also, this is the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton. I love this thing so much. It's so pretty. Kind of looks like Jupiter if it were pink. Oh, it even kind of has a spot. You know, the big red spot on Jupiter. This kind of one here. Yes, until my final, which is like 12.30, it's probably like 10, 15, maybe. I'm not gonna do much of anything, to be honest, so. I'm about to submit my final paper for my Greek lit class. Thank God, I think everything is in order here. Let's go. I'm so excited. spring semester 2021 thank god it actually went well i think so that's also cool now i can start packing out packing out moving out whatever my mom and my brother are gonna come to help me in like 15 minutes and then the moving out will commence I'm home and I have book mail. Very exciting. I ordered this a couple of weeks ago. It's just been chilling here. First up we have The Beautiful by Renee Audier. I know it's about vampires and I know it's set in New Orleans. So honestly, I'm sold. Very excited to read this soon. I hope to get to it soon. And then I can read The Damned, which also I love the names of the books for this. Like, is this just a duology? I don't know, but I've heard really good things about it and I'm super excited to have this. Um, this is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. I've just heard so many good things about this. I hear it's whimsical and fun and I thought this would be a really good read for a nice sunny Sunday summer 
I don't have another word that starts with S, morning. And then this book, I've kind of <laughs> already read it and I kind of loved it. Oh my goodness, hold on. I just took the dust jacket off of this and this shit is beautiful. Oh my God. I only paid like $15 for this, this is nice. This is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I read this book earlier this year. I actually have a vlog where I was reading, well, maybe not this one, but like parts of the series. If you wanna see it, it's not that good. I'm just excited to own it because I really loved this series a lot. So much so that I decided to get this in a hardback, if that says anything, because like all of my books are paperbacks, so. She's special. I'm just so excited. This is such a good book haul. I've been waiting because this has been just sitting at my like home home for like a week now. And I've been so excited to unbox these beauties. So I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> this box is just so big. I got a chair from Ikea and it's been sitting here for a couple of days. Let's see if we can get a sneak peek. Oh, I guess not. But I need to get this chair out of here and I need to build this and it's like 10 o'clock right now But I've been so excited for this chair. I think I'm just gonna build it now of the crown of gilded bones this morning and i don't think i can do it like they're actually in the plot now but i'm just like not interested in the plot i put 530 pages of work into this book and i'm not just gonna like not finish it it's just sad because i liked the first book so much like the plot was interesting there are things being thrown at me the relationship was just beginning to develop and everything was good and the second book nothing happened until like three-fourths of the way through the book and in this book nothing happened until like four-fifths of the way through the book and it's just i'm having some issues with this series right now things are happening i'm still wanting this book to be over but honestly i read the last part of chapter 44 and i asked <laughs> it's really taken this song for this book to get interesting i'm back with another update i just got to the end of chapter 45 and i gasped again <laughs> so much is happening in the last like 50 pages of this book i can't I just finished chapter 46 and it got me again. So many things are happening right now and I, there's only like 40 pages left. All right, so I just, where'd it go? So I just finished The Crown of Gilded Bones. I thought the ending of the book was so much more interesting than the rest of the book this last little chunk right here so much happened and then like the rest of the book i was like nothing was happening with the plot not a whole lot was going on a lot of information was being found out but like eh. but i think the ending of the book really saved it because now i kind of want to continue with the series i think the next one comes out sometime 
early next year maybe not 100 percent sure but now that that's finished i want to go ahead and start another book and i actually got two books from Half Price Books um, earlier today. So I thought I would show you them. So I got two Stephen King books and they're both book club editions because I love book club editions. I'm just gonna show you this one because it's right here, but this is the book club edition of Pet Cemetery, And it's like my favorite Stephen King book I own. So I got two more and they're all the same size, which is very satisfying. Do you see that? Oh, nice. And they're just like so cool and vintage and I'm just excited. Anyway, first I got Cujo, which I have Cujo in a mass market paperback, but I hate reading from mass market paperback, so have this. It had like a little rip up here, but like that's not a big deal. Got the typical author photo. I'm thinking I'm gonna read this one, but I also picked up Firestarter and this one's in really good condition. Like there's no ripping or anything. The dust jacket's in order. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I wanna read Firestarter first actually. It also has a quote from Fahrenheit 451 in the beginning, which I think is cool. Um, makes sense and i love fahrenheit 451 so all the more reason this is also dedicated to shirley jackson yeah it says in memory of shirley jackson who never needed to raise her voice well i haven't read <laughs> anything of her besides the haunting of hill house but i really liked the haunting of hill house and i loved her writing style so i need to read some more soon and i know she was like a big influence for him so i just think that's really cool the more i'm like talking through this the more i'm thinking I'm gonna go with Firestarter because I don't know if I want to read a pet a rabbit dog right now. so happy friday everybody so last night finished the crown and guild of bones already talked about that and then i started firestarter i am on like the second part of it now so page 55 and i'm really enjoying this i think the story is so interesting i also didn't know a lot about it going into it like i knew that like the girl on the cover she was like a pyro pyro she had pyrokinesis something like that but I didn't know like how she got it and we've already like gone into that and I just think that's all super interesting and I'm very excited to see exactly where the story is gonna go from here. I just haven't read a Stephen King book in so long and I'm so glad to be reading one again. So it's a lot later in the day, it's like seven o'clock. I'm going to be starting a little arts and crafts, not really, it's not that hard to do project. I've printed out some butterflies and I'm gonna color them in. I'm gonna cut them out and I'm maybe gonna hang them from like the under part of the shelf for like this colorful side, cause it needs something. I don't know what, but it needs something. Thank you. 
vlog it's all today it's saturday i literally haven't done much of anything today but i did end up finishing well i started and finished heartstopper volume three i gave this a five out of five stars i love this graphic novel series so much they're all five stars and i can't wait to pick up volume four soon this one they go to paris which is fun they were like we're going on a class trip to paris and i was like who goes on a class trip to paris like that just like doesn't happen i was like wait they live in england they can literally just get on a bus and go to france which is like a foreign concept to my american brain literally it was really cute but it also like dove into some more like serious topics which i thought was a really good conversation to add into like this cute graphic novel series it allows people who may be going through these kinds of things to like relate to characters that they love and it just makes the conversations maybe easier to have with people in their own lives so i think that's a really good thing that she added into this graphic novel series so i commend her for that and i think it's also explored a little bit more in volume four i also ended up going to ikea earlier which i forgot to film but um i was looking through the as is section and i found this cute little it says it's a succulent but i don't know about that but um yeah thought that'd be cute for bookshelves probably not there but something to that effect as for the book that i'm currently reading i am 79 pages into firestarter i am really enjoying this book so far very entertaining i cannot wait to read some more of this tonight also my butterflies failed that i tried to do yesterday i could not get this stupid thin fish line that i have to work so i'll insert a little whatever of what i did but it just like taped it to my bookshelf and it looks kind of cute talking about my looney tunes bookmark that i found in one of my parents books i think it's so funny and just weird it's sunday i'm wrapping up the vlog so i finished two books but i will talk about those in a second because i've been working on something this afternoon that i have to show because it's so cute i've been wanting to do this for like a long time and i didn't film it because i didn't know if it was gonna like go well and it still could go very wrong but i have seen people making like tiny book charm things and i mostly i've seen them like made into earrings i started made off by making these little like page inserts for book covers that i've printed out and then i put little like eye pins at the top here and then i just baked these so they're still kind of cooling so i decided to do salem's lot because i was looking for a book cover at one point and then i saw that the full dust jacket was just on google images so i made tiny salem's lot book covers dust jackets whatever you want to call them and they even have like the front and back flaps which i think are so like you're not gonna be able to see them at all but i just think it's gonna look so cute i finished two books this week i finished the crown of gilded bones which first part of it not not the best but i think the ending saved it a lot like i was very enthralled with what was happening at the end there and i think i need to continue the series when the next book comes out next year and i also finished heartstopper volume three which i gave five stars so that was really good and then if i could find it yes i'll just hold up the dust jacket because it's here i'm officially halfway through firestarter getting very dear god if i say interesting one more time i'm just gonna delete this channel they're on they've been on the run for the whole book so far and i think they continue to be on the run until the ending but i've heard that the ending is really good and it like saves a lot of this book and like i've liked the rest of this book so i think this is feeling like a four star Typed you like a solid four stars. I've really been enjoying it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down below. Like, comment, whatever. Subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in my next video.